This PragerU Kids episode is dedicated to the proud Mujahideen freedom fighter. <laughs> I have to tell you, ever since starting this channel, we have watched PragerU videos. We've debunked PragerU videos. We've reacted to PragerU videos. We've seen a bunch of PragerU videos, and they're all bad. But this one, this one, I must tell you, is what I would call PragerU's greatest sin. This is absolutely PragerU. This is in the ballpark of probably, if not, one of the worst videos they've uploaded to their channel ever okay it's really high up there i think so so prager U has a series that they started not too long ago called leo and layla not to be confused with the good show lilo and stitch it's different and it's bad they made a new episode it's their it is like prager U for kids it, that's literally what it is where they want to indoctrinate kids in school by making these like weird flash animated like propaganda pieces that are like america's always been great sure we messed up a little bit but we're the best country to ever exist and you should never want to do anything bad to america and you should never want to change it and it's only the left who are cringe today so they've taken their show on the road we knew it was going to happen i just hope that it wouldn't but hoping and praying sometimes doesn't do the job because it's here trigger you made a, a propaganda piece where they used Frederick Douglass to push how great America is, okay? They used an actual ex-slave civil rights fighter to not only push how amazing America is, but also deride BLM. They made an anti-BLM kids propaganda piece with Frederick Douglass. Absolute depravity. I wasn't expecting this. I honestly was like, no, this is nah, but no, it is. It's here and we gotta, we, we gotta watch it. Ooh, baby. Yeehaw. Let's go. Bring you kids. That's right, Bob. Despite some violence and destruction by some of our angrier activists, we're seeing mostly peaceful protests. Protesters are demanding that the police be abolished. Well, Clint, these local activists want to abolish the police. They're claiming systematic oppression and want the U.S. system torn down. What is going on? Things are so weird right now. I know. Mrs. Calder gave us an assignment today about being activists for justice. Isn't Mrs. Calder your math teacher? Yeah. We learn math, but we spend a lot of time learning about the stuff they talk about in the news. That's weird. Isn't math class supposed to be for math? Okay, so... Obviously, they're going to be like, it's that classic um, conservative trope where they're like, ah, see, they're destroying everything, but they say they're peaceful. And it's true. Listen, there, there are some BLM marches where things got broken. Most of them that didn't happen and the vast majority of them. Actually, what was it? Over 10% of the U.S. population who participated in a BLM protest, which none of the people who watch fucking Prager you did because they give they don't give a shit about black people. Let's be I mean, this is this is like 100 percent proof. OK, so they didn't participate in it, but they think that they were all evil or something. But most of them weren't. And a lot of the people who actually started a lot of violence in those BLM protests weren't people who were protesting for BLM. Most of the shootings and deaths that happened at and around BLM protests weren't because of people in BLM and who were pro BLM. A lot of them were Boogaloo boys. A lot of them were people who were anti BLM and tried to make them look bad. Actually, this is something that just happened. Let me see if I can pull this up for you. A guy got either arrested or put in jail recently. Do I have this picture on me? Here we go. Oh, would you look at that? Far right Boogaloo boy admits pose, posing as BLM activist while uh, shooting at the police station during George Floyd protests. That's, that's so curious. It's so, it's so curious. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. It's the most manufactured of manufactured outrage is you go out literally commit crimes and then yourself and then blame it on your political opponents and then until he got caught that's just incredible that's just that, that's just incredible it's almost like all most of the violence that they even said happened at the blm protest that was real wasn't happening because of people who were pro blm it was people who were anti it shit's crazy bro literally out of their mind wild stuff but here let's see what let's see what prager you has to say about all this <laughs> Why is everyone so angry? Are, are they burning a car? What does abolish even mean? That's enough. Let's get to what the bottom of this. What does abolish mean? The app? You got it. Abolish... Abolitionist? Let's check this out. 
Hi, are you an abolitionist? I am. My name is Frederick Douglass. Well <sighs> I feel so much pain. <laughs> it, is, it is a big oh no. Oh no. I hate this. It's in it only. I promise you it only gets worse from here. All right. This is only we are one minute in and we're only in the beginning of the pain. OK, I got to tell you, they took the guy's voice and uh, I think they slowed it down. I'm speeding it up a little bit. It's at 0.25. So we don't spend forever on. Yeah, they had Markiplier voice him. So they go back. They're like, hmm, abolishment. Ew, yikes. Black people saying they want things. Fucking cringe. Hey, Frederick Douglass. Hey, fake Fre Frederick Douglass. You wouldn't like this, would you? Let's let's see what Mr. Frederick Douglass that they just randomly appeared in front of had to say. Welcome to 1852. Thanks. I recognize you from a picture in my U.S. history textbook. You have really cool hair. I'm Layla. That's my brother, Leo. We're trying to learn about activism. <laughs> Bro, wait. <laughs> wait, can we can we just chill without commenting on black people's hair? For one, I know they have literally zero chill, but whoa, cool hair. <laughs> and abolishing things. Can you help us? Well, not to brag, but I'm the perfect guy for you to talk to. I'm the most famous activist in America, and I'm currently working on getting something abolished. Abolish means to end, right? What are you wanting to get rid of? Wait, didn't they th didn't they just say that they didn't know what abolish even meant? Hmm. Abolishment? I don't even know what that damn word means. And now she's like, abolish means end, right? What? What? There's so many plot holes in this story. So weird. This is definitely not getting a good score on Rotten Tomatoes. I want slavery to end. At this time that you have come to visit, for half of the United States, it is okay for some people to own other people, make them work for many hours for no pay, and force them to do anything, anytime. That's so unfair and horrible. You're right. The sad fact is slavery has existed everywhere in the world for thousands of years, but it's especially disappointing here because America was founded on the idea of freedom. Oh, baby. Listen, us, all of them, all of them stinky foreigners, who, oh, baby, they were. They weren't like us, all right? We fucking love freedom here. And it's sad. Is a voice filler? Yeah, I don't know why they gave him such a crazy, like, hello, hello, everyone. It's me, Frederick Douglass. Okay, all right, buddy. Yet so many black people are not free. Are you a slave, Mr. Douglass? I was, but not anymore. I was born a slave, and I was taken from my family at the age of six. That's just so terrible. How did you deal with that? It was very hard, and I was often sad. But I taught myself to read and write, and like I always say, knowledge is the pathway from slavery to freedom. As a boy, I was regularly beaten. But when I was 21, I had had enough and escaped to the north, where slavery is against the law, and have never looked back. Today, I am a free American, fighting for all to be free. How can there be slavery in America when the Founding Fathers said that all men are created equal? Yeah, and I've heard that some of those Founding Fathers owned slaves. Okay, so here's a... So here's a good point okay because this is like bro we're founded on freedom bro we love freedom here bro but we do it as slavery how did that how do that work all right so prager you has a amazing comeback to this all right here's where the real propaganda starts what about that children our founding fathers knew that slavery was evil and wrong and they knew that it would do terrible harm to the nation they wanted it to end but their first priority was getting all 13 colonies to unite as one country. Okay, so here's... <laughs> yeah, shut up, kid. Idiot. This is Rich coming from PragerU who tries to act like the Confederate aren't bad. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's great. How they're like, bro, that how they like make a video that's like the Confederacy was bad and it was actually Democrats, but it was actually like actually super good. And that's why we should keep the slave uh, driver monuments. But actually, there it's a little cringe, but we loved freedom. But we had it's just it's just they're speaking out of both sides of their mouth because they have no real values. OK, they'll flip flop and wish wash between whatever they want because it doesn't matter to them. You know, owning slaves, owning human beings as a slave uh, and calling them slaves. It was it was a big meme. All right. It's just a big meme. Just let them do their thing. Yeah, dude. Radical, radical terrorist John Brown, who did bad things like stop people from being slaves and <laughs> crazy shit. Right. Wild ass stuff going on. Wild stuff. So apparently they really hated slaves. And here's the thing. There were some founding fathers that really didn't like slavery. They really didn't like slavery. Okay. They didn't like slavery, but not because they thought that like it was bad and immoral and like 
really wrong. They didn't like slavery because they didn't like that we would ha be having so many black people in the country. Okay? That's the real reason. And they saw like slave uprisings and they were like, bro, they're gonna do that shit to us, man. We gotta get them fucking hex out of here. So it wasn't it wasn't for any good reason that they were like anti-slavery. It was like there are way too many black people here and they're gonna fuck our shit up. So, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, North Carolina banned slaves, but not for like a good reason, for quite a bad reason actually. Just because they just hated black people, not because they wanted to stop slavery, you know? Yeah, they're taking the, the classic. That's the number one. They're taking their gerbs. How they originally ruled the country was as a Anglo-Saxon only country, right? So they didn't like French people. They didn't like Irish people. They didn't like Slavic people. They didn't like Baltic people. They didn't like Italian people. It, like the idea of like white wasn't really a big thing there. They wanted them. They're Anglo-Saxon British, and everyone else can like get fucked. So, I mean, you can see what they were doing the Native Americans. So you know, you know, not not the nicest place. Anyways, if they were so against slavery, you would expect them to like not own slaves either. But you know, you know, make listen, listen. It's a little the story's a little complicated. Okay. The Southern colonies were dependent on slave labor, and they wouldn't have joined a union that had banned it. Are you okay with that? I'm certainly not okay with slavery, but the Founding Fathers made a compromise to achieve something great, the making of the United States. If Listen, okay? Listen. They made a compromise, and sure, all of my people were raped, tortured, and murdered for their own financial benefit, but they did do something super sick, like, you know, the America, come on. We all, we all gotta make a little compromise, okay? other people's lives for my own money come 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 on come on you know think of the cash the ka-ching if they immediately outlawed slavery after winning independence the southern colonies would have formed their own slave owning country our founders created a system they thought would have slavery in gradually well we're here in 1852 and america's been around for about 75 years you're still trying to get slavery abolished <laughs> that's a good point leo Oh, wow, that's a good point, Leo. Dude, the 246 years of slave, bro, it's been, it's been 246 years and we still got that shit. The 246 years and then the, how many years of uh, segregation? Another massive amount of years of segregation is gonna follow this. Not like the, not the big, not the best memes going on, you know? Yeah, slavery bad, but America better, so. It doesn't sound like the system the founding fathers set up is working. On the contrary. All the northern states outlawed slavery by 1804, and buying slaves from Africa was outlawed for the whole country four years later. What's taking the southern states so long to do what's right? Great streams are not easily turned from channels worn deep in the course of ages. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Prager, you, Frederick Douglass, for your wise words. It's funny how the kid asked, didn't the founding fathers own slaves? And then they completely ignored the question. Oh yeah, it's like... <laughs> He's like, didn't the founding fathers own slaves? And then he's just like, he just moonwalks away. Fred, fake Fred, Frederick Douglass just moonwalks away from that question. It's amazing. Oh, it's so good. Huh? What I mean is, sometimes things are more complicated than they might seem. And complicated problems take time to solve. When I have a complicated math problem, if I rush to solve it, I make mistakes. Leo, ending slavery is such a bigger deal than your math problem. <laughs> fucking shit, bro. I'm literally dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my family was raped tortured and murdered for their entire lives um um and then worked to death so my whatever yeah so you know it's been pretty bad bro this meme is very real that sounds tough sometimes i gotta do long division <laughs> bro dude it's slavery is just like calculus man you ever think about that wild it's a way it's real. this is the one probably one of the most incredible videos I've ever seen. It certainly is Leo. Along with independence and democracy, it's probably America's biggest deal. There was no real movement anywhere in the world to abolish slavery before the American founding. I'm going to I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it all. I'm going to end it all. There have been so many movements throughout history that, that have called to outlaw slavery. What are you talking about? I'm the I want to find the nearest sewer and slide into it. I'm going to pull a sewer slide. OK, I'm going to su support my local Home Depot and buy a length of rope. All right. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to listen. 
listen, I'm going to like pay. I'm going to take all the money that I earned from streaming and buy buy an Elon Musk uh, rocket ride and then cut the engines halfway through. Just something, just something, just just to feel something. OK, this is too much. I hurt so much. <laughs> it's toaster time. <laughs> Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. <laughs> hop, in, hop in the tub. Give Pikachu a hug. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. <laughs> just, just make it end. Oh my gosh. Slavery was part of life all over the world. It was America that began the conversation to end it. That's not true. These are two incredibly different statements. These are two, for one, these are two incredibly different statements. And two, no, they didn't. In Haiti, they abolished slavery before before the U.S. did. In France, they did. I think in um even in England, they did. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? England was banning slavery before America was founded. Uh, one of the big reasons why the South like uh, really wanted to help North and like become independent was because like England was thinking about banning slavery in the colonies, and they didn't want that to happen. That's one of the big reasons why they're like, hell yeah, brother, I'll fight up. Hell yeah, brother, I'll fight. They're gonna take my freaking rape torture from me. I love that shit. It's tasty. I love rape torture. It's my favorite thing in the world. So that so that's one of the big reasons why they want to keep it going. Like, what are you talking? What are you talking about? This is incredible. This is so. This is so such disgusting propaganda it's wild to me with someone who suffered through this who was an actual slave what's happening this guy isn't a character he's not a meme he's a real human being who suffered greatly for a long portion of his life this is it, i just this this is the one of if not prager use greatest sin this is incredible to me yeah dude i want to get i want to make a minecraft hardcore and then dig straight down how did they how did prager you supposed to know that they had to learn about blm during history class you're right you're right dude what about in egypt we're like bro what the oh i'm going to oh, i'm so fucking mad these people claim to be christians do, do, you, do you remember the anti-slavery movement in the fucking bible when it came to the egyptians let my people go do you remember that the staff turning into a snake the locust do you do you, does this does this mean anything to you the parting parting of the sea does this mean does this mean anything to you? What are you talking about? If you're going to t take like the Christian version of it, like I for Gore, oh my entire religion, I for Gore. <laughs> hey, maybe they think that America has been around so long. It's been uh, the America was uh, around before like the fucking uh, before the Bible was made. Who knows? Yeah, they kept slaves after that too. There still was a movement. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But Leo is correct. The big problems need to be approached very carefully. Have you kids heard of William Lloyd Garrison? No. Nope. He's an abolitionist like me. And he and I used to be friends, but we aren't any longer. We don't agree how to solve problems. William refuses all compromises, demands immediate change, and if he doesn't get what he wants, he likes to set things on fire. Sounds familiar. Death, pain, destruction. My heart, my heart weeps. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm alone, the only thing I hear is the sound of rain in my heart, okay? From the tears that I hide, because it tears me apart. But I keep them inside. I'm going. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I can't believe that these P Prager U is comparing BLM to anti anti abolitionists, but then saying that they're both bad. They're deriding anti. <sighs> Just go the fucking. You know. You know that meme. You know that meme where we're like, bro, dude. Did you know how like if conservatives were back in the day, they'd be on the like anti-abolitionist side, but they unironically are like deriding abolitionists here and saying that they're bad. Oh, this guy, he wanted to burn the Constitution. That's cringe. I just want to do it slowly. Sounds like you know the type. Yeah, we've got that type in our time. So you're trying to work for change inside of the American system. Precisely, Layla. Our system is wonderful and the Constitution is a glorious liberty document. We just need to convince enough Americans to be true to it. Bro, and that shit didn't happen. <laughs> the, the, the thing is, that never even happened. Like, this never happened. You know what happened? A war broke out, okay? The, that, that slow creep to finally get things done never worked. It never worked. The Confederates were like, 
We see what's happening and we're sick of it. I want to keep my rape torture. I think it's hilarious. So we're going to start a war. And they lost, thankfully. But that this this whole like slow creep we're going to change people's minds didn't happen. A lot of the people, a lot, even a lot of like the union members who like went down there to like to fight the Confederacy, their main thing on the top of their minds wasn't like yeehaw, let's free slaves. It was like yeehaw, let's um keep the union together, right? You can't secede. That shit doesn't work. You can't like start a war with us and then try to escape that doesn't it doesn't happen now like there are a lot of records that when union members went down to the south and finally saw what slavery looked like what slavery was lots of them lots of them then started fighting for mainly anti-slavery but a lot of them they didn't start out that way because that's just what people grew up with and they just thought it was like epic and pog so they just didn't give a shit right but it's but this never happened this never even if that like changing of heart in like the union soldiers minds never happened th changing that that never happened so they're actually fighting for a system that didn't work they are in in effect being anti-abolitionists here which is incredible and trying to pose like the people who are pro-abolitionists as like the actual villains and then using an abolitionist as their prop as their puppet to say their talking points. And people like Garrison don't just want slavery abolished, but the whole American system. You are correct. Oh, oh, also, my bad, sorry. And sorry, protesting, rioting, that is working within the American system. I'm sorry, like that, it still is. We can, I can, I can still do that. Cause what you're trying to do is get policy changed. So if you can do that and stir up enough shit to get like policy changed or to get people's minds on, on a certain issue, well, congrats, it's going to have to go through the American system somehow, okay? Even if you, like, we can change the constitution. Like they think that the constitution is one of like, is like the part of the 10 commandments that it's like endowed from God and we can't change it. We made the American system. You can change, you can amend the constitution. That's why we have the amendment process. We can literally change it. We have amendments that um, amend amendments. This is how this works. That is the American system. I don't know what you're talking about, but they just want to pretend like it's not like that because they don't want anything good to happen. His approach is called radical. That means a complete fundamental change of everything. That seems silly. There are so many amazing things about America. Also, that's not what the word radical means. You can be radical on a single issue and not want to radically change everything. That's not what that means. Well, your way is definitely better. It's the right way to get change. I think so. But how are you so sure? Spoiler alert. In our time, you're considered an American hero. And that other guy isn't really known. And double spoiler alert. Also in our time, all Americans are equally protected under the law and have equal voting rights, regardless of race. One second. Here, so you guys can, so you guys can see it. North Carolina court strikes down a voter ID law citing racial discrimination. In the second time in five years, that a court had to invalidate the North Carolina voter identification law as racially discriminatory. Second time in five years. In 2016, the federal appeals court ruled against a different version of the law, saying it targeted black voters with almost surgical precision. And just so you know, what they did is they went in and basically found every single way that black people vote in mostly, and then they tried to outlaw it or make it as difficult as possible to do it. In, ooh, in, incredible, or like, Making, making crimes that black people do more um, carry heavier prison sentences or felonies and then make it so felons can't vote. So ooh, in ooh, tasty, that's a t that's a spicy meatball. Does America have the same constitution in your time as the one here in 1852? We sure do. Same. Technically, no, we don't, because we have a more we have way more amendments than they did back in the day. Ha <laughs> ha me fist ha ha me me and Frederick Douglass shit on BLM and then we fist bump. <laughs> I'm going to this is this is I I hate this so much. We even had a black president two terms. So, Mr. Douglas, do you think we should be activists, just not radical ones? Layla, your America where people are free and everyone is equal under the law sounds pretty great. But no place is perfect. Can you can you fucking imagine going back in time? seeing Frederick Douglass and just lying to his face like this. <laughs> can, you, can you just lying to this man's face? Just lying to his face and being like, oh yeah, dude, everything's actually perfect now. <laughs> and even he's gotta be a little skeptical and be like, yo, listen, like we still got a lot of problems, don't you? 
so it's good to listen to activists who want to improve things. But they have to be willing to work inside our system, and they have to understand that change usually requires patience and compromise. Then you might want to join their cause. But if they are radicals like Garrison, you and your brother will be best served to stay away. I think I'm just- Holy fuck. It's gonna worry about surviving middle school for now. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, dude. Holy shit. He's like, even Frederick Douglass was like, dude, you should join. You should join activists. They're actually pretty cool. Unless they're the bad ones. The really cringe ones. You know, the ones. And she's like, actually, I don't give a shit about any of that. I kind of want to just play with my Tamagotchi. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Dude, he's like, actually, you should join some activists, I guess. And then she is like, um... Um, you're old, you're old, plus you, f um, no, plus you fell off, plus ratio. <laughs> I want to die. That sounds wonderful. In a video game, not in real life. I like my life in real life. I like my life in real life, not, but only in a video game. Not like in real life, okay. And you, Leo? I'm just going to worry about being a kid. If you're interested in time traveling again, please subscribe to watch more. Help, no, no. No. Free me from this painful existence. Mr. Bones, let me off your wild ride. This, I don't even know what I should say. What should I, what should I say? <laughs> you Prager you Tulsa bombing. <laughs> Prager you Pearl Harbor. Dude, I'm so down, I'm so down. Prager, Prager you kids meets Dylan Roof. <laughs> I can't wait for it. It'll be such a good episode. Where is Frederick Douglass's family, okay? I need them to step in just so they can sue Prager you and say stop using his likeness. Anything, please, I beg of you. I beg of you. What should I do? Yeah, Prager you kids visit Columbine. Sup Shark, what are we watching? You wouldn't want to know. They're they're on um they're on like their version of not copywritten Twitter, okay? And they tweeted something out like 1776, America is the greatest country to ever exist. And then someone calls them a Nazi. All right. And someone calls them a Nazi. And so Leo and Layla's like, Nazi? But those guys are the bad guys. You know what? I'm sick of this. And she's like, and he's like, what? What do you mean? And he's like, we're using the app. And then they type in Nazi. Beep. And then they go all the way back to like 1944. And they hop on a train of like Jewish people that are going to fucking Auschwitz. And then they talk to, they talk to Anne Frank. They, they're talking to Anne Frank, where Anne Frank then like agree. It goes like, yeah, the Nazis are bad, but America, it was amazing because America beat the Nazis and nobody else. Also, being a not, uh, uh, actually the real Nazis were the ones that said that they're intolerant to me. And they're like, wow, that sounds a lot like people today. <laughs> and then they just, and then they call everyone else. Um, and then they're like, oh yeah, everyone who, the, the left are the real Nazis today. And that's, and that's it. That's. That's it. That's the next episode. Yeah, they're they're like freaking. They're like write that, write that, write that down, write that down. Oh my gosh, that's a great episode. Hey, you gotta you gotta you gotta pay for that one, okay? You gotta pay for that one. That's twenty gifted subs right there, minimum. We need to work within the system to defeat the Nazis. To trigger you meeting Adolf Hitler. Wait, and then they agree. Wait, and then they both agree that the communists were bad. <laughs> Mr. Hitler, you know we have communists back where we are. He's like, oh, that's very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> I can see it now. I know for a fact that's what that's it. That is it right there. Yeah, and then yeah, and then yeah, and then they tell it wait, and then they're talking to Anne Frank and they're like, Yeah, that sounds really bad. You should work within the systems to beat the Nazis. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go like walk my dog. See you later, Anne Frank, and then poof, just teleport out. <laughs> And the ending scene is just the train leading into Austria. Yep, definitely. That's it. That's it right there. That's that's the next uh, PragerU Kids episodes. I can see it.